Hello everyone and welcome back to once again base defense time. Oh yeah, that's right. What we're going to be doing is defending our base against the alien menace. Fortunately we have a wealth of Sri Lankans and infantry to assist us in this regard. The first step is to ensure that there are indeed no aliens spawning in these four areas. One did spawn here, they're not meant to. So we're going to be double checking that there are indeed no extra aliens in this area. So these infantry at the back shall be moving forward just to secure the area. These, uh, these four or five infantry, I believe that's fine. Such as the MC Disappointment. Uh, well, eventually. For now, MC Headache. And, and now MC Disappointment. We're just going to be moving them all the way down. The Sea Lake is currently covering the door anyway, so... It's pretty safe, but we need to do things like checking inside the cubby holes, possibly checking upstairs, just to make sure there's no one there. 90% of the guys aren't going to be there, but we just need to make sure, because I don't want to get shot in the back. It's just not going to be fun. So the lanky lamina lady. That's right, she's lanky, she's a lamina, but she's still a lady, and we've got to respect that. Let's have England's volans. That's right, Sky and Ox's uh, Worms Armageddon crew return and remain as, as unpronounceable as ever. That's the important thing. We're going to get our Steel Anchors to come on down, for they are the true heroes of base defense. Let's get them down there, shall we? All of our Steel Anchors marched into a line. Of course, the aliens are rather limited in what weapons they can bring and use in a base defense mission. It's pretty much only thermal shock launchers and, and sonic cannons. Decent weapons in their own right, of course, but not good enough to really intimidate a seal anchor. So the seal anchor is, is definitely in its element. I'm so looking forward to having Deep Ones attack. That would be nice. But we have not even... See, I have not even bothered, like, investigating a single crash site this month. And we still have Aquatoids attacking. I don't know what that's up with. Or what's up with that, rather. But that is the case in point. We're going to have MC Victim come on down. And, of course, let's bring up I don't know how that happened, but the pop culture reference turned into pop culture preference. I don't remember typing that, but hey, life goes on in the nature of various things. So I'm going to have pop culture reference come over here. Actually, I probably should get it to check the stairs. It's probably fine, but they need to be checked. MC Problem's doing a good job. Let's get it to check this door as well. Okay, over here... We've got upstairs anybody? We have three people upstairs. The emissary of the RNG. Let's see how good these people can get. You know, there's a potential to have some training in, uh, conducted today. Various aquatoids that we can shoot using our gas cannons. You know, that's an important thing. Or Ski comes down and just checks there's no one over there, which is good. Let's keep looking that way. We'll get him to come through here. That's also fine. And of course the Emissary of the RNG advances as well. So let's get the other members down, such as uh, Umbramento. Umbramanto, sorry. Who's currently uh, sporting the female genre. What genre? Sex. There you go. And of course, Ignardo. Various dragons to protect our king and country. Well, lord and country, because I am a lord, and this is Sealand, after all. Sealand's actually a lot larger than you expected, you know? You, you just think, oh, you know, it's a small little fortress, you know, built in World War II. But no, it's actually quite considerably swollen in size. And now the utils man stretches his hand forth. Can he see anything or anyone? And the answer is... Yes! Yes, he can. He can see an aquatoid over there. Can you take a shot and kill him? Yes, you can. And, oh, you killed two, uh, two Aquatoids and destroyed everything else. I think that's a worthy effort. Worthy. Now, if it's capable, you shall stand over here. And remain capable and crouch. 
and the uh, utils manage will crouch as well. So the various seal anchors shall proceed. Uh, this one shall body block the door. This one shall move another four squares. Excellent. So far, so awesome. You know, that's a good sweep throughout the spawn areas. And is there anyone else upstairs? We do have someone else upstairs. We have uh, Libero, who can actually come out through these stairs here. After investigating the dead alien, of course. Okay, so we don't need we don't need MC uh, problem to investigate that after all. Um, hello. Apparently, it takes more than four time units to move through that door, which I've never heard of before. But hey, I'm not going to ask any more questions. No more questions, please. Okay. So that's that's our turn one. What's their turn one like, eh? I've already killed three aliens. No calcinites yet though, but they're sure to pop up sooner or later. Five seal anchors is just amazing. Five. I feel so powerful. Turn two. No aliens discovered. And that's a good thing. MC disappointment bursting in through every room and door. That's a good thing. We're going to be methodical. We're going to be true to ourselves and our hearts. These two men shall bound forward. The irate customer, of course. Truly irate at a time in a dark age. The MC victim moving forward. Anyone in here? That's not yet, but we'll keep checking. Certainly lots of equipment. That seems to be our scanner array there. Could be an alien containment. Uh, I think it's alien containment, actually. I can't go any further that way with the seal anchors, so we're just going to go back up. We've certainly seen no more aliens, but we're not going to be intimidated by a lack of sight. Doesn't really make much sense, that, but hey. It's time to open this door, though. Actually, no, it isn't. Because these guys need to get into a firing position before we open the door. Because we're going to deploy the same strategy we used last time, and that requires some firing points. Cool, we're ready to use the strategy. The three seal anchors here shall help in this regard. This seal anchor shall advance down the corridor and join its other seal anchor buddy over here. As close as possible, at least, which is a considerable distance. These guys will just keep manoeuvring around, checking various areas for signs of alien activity. Go through the door, please, Headache. Of course, now when these people fail, I can just say that their, their heads weren't screwed on properly. It's just the fate of those who have MC difficulties. Let's continue, shall we? Lanky Laminar Lady. And of course, Ignaz Volans. We'll get moving the current customer down. There we go. Of course, the easiest way to check is just to have someone die, and you're like, well, that, that clearly has someone left. <laughs> well, there were some batteries left. Alright, it's a little bit laggy from so many people on the screen, but still playable, so that's what matters. I probably could increase the cycles, but this is a lot of stuff for XCOM to handle. I mean, a lot of stuff. You, the inventory screen, which I cut off, there's like so many spare gorse rifles and gorse clips. It's just struggling under the strain of so much, so much power in clip form. That's right. So let's get Ignardo down here as well. I think we still have one or two people still upstairs. That's correct. That person we sent upstairs, and this person we forgot about completely. Oh, it's just you. Okay. Dogs, shut up. Alright, so. Any more aliens that we can shoot over here? He's capable, could you have a look? Oh dear. 
Well, as the dogs are barking ridiculously, I will cut the video off and come back in a moment. Can't see anyone anyway, so what we'll do is we'll actually end turn and then come back. Kill. So what will the aliens do on their turn, eh? Well, turn two, not A. We shall discover the truth in sh short order. Man, my, my words were not coming out at the start of this particular... We shall endure. Not much is happening, actually. It's a pretty slow start. Bit of MC, I see. On our good old MC disappointment. Well, that was a good shot. Nicely done. A calcinite cut down, as well as two aquatoids of that gas cannon attack over the top of the submersible weapon system. Good attack indeed. I'm satisfied. But we're going to be concerned about those MC problems. You know, if they prove to become a disappointment, we have to cut them down. Shooting your own men? I approve. We have reserves. It's long turns. Wow, this is long. I'm starting to get hungry. You know, it's like waiting the islands to take their turn. I'm just like, oh, let's pick up my phone and just do a few battles on Crimeic. It's like, well, got nothing else to do while these aliens try to kill me. Ha! <laughs> Taking forever. This must be a lot of them. You know what it is? It's calcinites. They've got such a ridiculous movement speed. And they have no idea what they're doing. So we're like going clop, 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 clop. Meanwhile, I'll just take a more, another sip. Oh, it's our turn again. Turn three. MC problem is panicked. Did you drop your gun? Please tell me you dropped the gun. No, you didn't. Okay, that's a slight problem, but you only panicked. Meanwhile, our sea lanker only took minor damage from that attack. A small amount of the under armor was damaged. The firing accuracy slightly diminished. So we use this sea lanker to attack again. Wow, that's a ridiculously small number of aliens outside this door. But, nevertheless, we will have our Aquanauts open fire. After crouching, of course. More Aquatoids died. It's a good thing when Aquatoids die. Orski, can you take a shot? No line of fire has been opened to you. Regrettable, but true. We'll get the Sea Lanka to take a shot. And then clear the door. Awesome. There's good reaction fire though from whoever this person was. Lobster man bait. You might be lobster man bait, but your reactions were strong. Manly. Loved it. Meanwhile, anything over here? This Sea Lanka shall be our eyes and ears. As to the status of the sub pen. We did take out a large number of them early, which is great. Uh, my body is distinctly enjoying this fact. Cool. Alright, so that's actually gone fine over there. These guys will just wait in the wings. It's fine. MC problem, however, is the greatest problem of them all. The first to be inflicted with molecular control attacks. So we're going to continue our probing of the upstairs areas. Doesn't seem to be any aliens though that were out to backstab us, they would have done so by now. And this seems clear. So, I mean, I'll check in here, just to be sure. But the workshop seems pretty... pretty decluttered. Yeah, it's fine. That's right, they can build sub pens... oh, not submarines, but they can build a lot of stuff in here. So... 
Actually, that th those are sonars. Yeah, that's a sonar array. That's a sonar array. Speaking of sonars, let's get MC Headache to check it out. And the answer is there's nothing here. Just nothing. Cool. Well, these guys can keep going. The MC Disappointment. Love the music, as always. Lanky Lamina Lady. She's so lanky. She's so Lamina. And definitely female. Ignis Volans. Ignis Volans? I don't know. Dragon names. I do not speak the Dragonic tongue. Therefore, my pronunciation is likely to be off. That's an open door. So is that. Meanwhile, the customer is established. There's no one here. Just nobody. Okay, MC Victim. What about over here? Let's see. Yeah, I don't think so. I think we're pretty good. Open the door. Open. Open your mouth. There you go. No worries. Open. So, additional sea lankers come rolling through. Rolling out. To take out Aquatoy piece by piece. Oh yes. These sea lankers were going to have a field day. If they survive, we'll have a... A good 1500 extra harpoon bolts deposited directly into our inventory, which is amazing. And only one alien stands tall, stands strong, in the face of adversity. Cool. I think there's one person left? No, that's it. Hang on. One here. Never noticed you. Draco. MC Issue. Get on down, MC Issue. I probably actually don't want to use you, considering you're an issue. Alright, well let's get Draco down. Draco, a truly inspired dragon name. Although I do know someone called Draco Zek, so I suppose that's that. Okay. Well, I don't know about you, but it's time to end turn. Turn three. Time to break out a calendar and see how long this is going to take. That's right, not a stopwatch, a calendar. <laughs> there we go. Consciousness fading. Ugh. Whoop! A shot was fired. Shots fired. Sonic cannon rounds expelled. Miss Capable! Miss Capable got an FC hit. But the, the Calcinites are attacking. But not before getting a sonic cannon shot to the face. Alright, Miss Capable. You might be capable, but you're also an MC problem. It's a bit tragic, but it's true. Why well, she didn't succumb to MC. We'll see how she goes. If she has another one, then I'll write her down as being an issue. So things got really exciting there, and then they're still going. So many aliens, it's ridiculous. Our turns are just as long. It's what happens when you have such epic battles in a turn-based game. It's like, well, now we wait. Turn-based is still one of the heights of strategy, though. It's like, you have time to actually really think about it. Slow-paced uh, real-time is still good, too, though. Actually, I, I really enjoy real-time in general, but... I find things like StarCraft a bit too fast-paced, it's a bit more Jedi reflexes and memorised encounters than actual strategy, in my opinion. But it is built to be competitive, so that's what that's why it's so fast-paced. Maybe we'll even get to... get to our turn before the 20-minute mark, eh? Who knows? Who knows the knows? It's definitely going to be my last bit for the day. I am falling asleep. Even though I'm drinking caffeine.
That's right. Turn four! Oh, look at that. Miss Capable has panicked. I think we can prove that despite being capable, she's an MC problem. MC capability. MC capable. From Miss Capable to MC capable. I think anything of MC is just going to be considered bad. <laughs> I might as well check the upstairs, Mr. Customer. Even though you are so irate. And there's no one up here. It's just an alien containment. Well, honestly, I'm content to have checked because otherwise that could have been a rude awakening. We could even check this, gen this living quarters here, but should be safe. MC disappointment. Lead the charge. <coughs> opening a door, and that's all she did. The charge of door opening. Oh, so epic. Please close the door behind you. Thank you. Just barking out orders while recording. I like what I hear. We're gonna get MC problem to um, apparently open fire soon. But for the time being, we're gonna get this seal anchor to open in this door and go through it. Actually, not yet. We have to kill some dudes. Now go through it. Cool. Now we go kill this guy. Emissary of the RNG, open fire. That was good. It stunned an Aquatoid, but killed Shafar again. Thank you for taking care of that guy. Mind you, Orski took three fatal wounds as a result. And we have no medikits. That might actually be the only fatality we get. But, eh, uh, it happened. Well, Orski, time for you to open fire. Uncrouch, now open fire. One shot, second shot, how about you go, third shot. Oh, I like what I see. The gas cannon, a uh, seal anchor, absorbing that gorse rifle shot, no problem. Miss Capable's a little bit panicked. So, utils man, what do we see? Not much, not much at all. But we have destroyed a calcinite. Yeah, we did take a shot this direction, but we don't know who, who shot it. That's right, that's the way we do it. We do have two aliens that we could see in this general direction. Ah, there they are. We've detected the enemy aliens. Don't know if Util's man can actually have a shot. But we'll give it a shot. With his shot. No line of fire, how about here? No line of fire, how about this? No line of fire, how about that? Lots of explosions, which I, of course, am deeply, deeply satisfied with. We're going to get these Silankans, though, to come on out, and they're going to do some good work, I can assure you. Because if there's one thing that works well on XCOM, it's mech. Oh, yes. Let's take two shots. One each. That hit the wall. How about the second shot? Oh, yes. They both hit the wall. Ah, that's what I'm talking about. Okay, you, take a shot. Wow, they've been dodging a lot of lot of shots there. But they've got a lot of targets to choose from, so we could be fine. We could be fine. Next turn we'll get some reinforcements out for them. We could even get MC Hammer to come out. Why not? MC Hammer, take a few shots. You never know, eh? You never know. Oh, so close. Can you do a snap? No, you can't. Oh well, MC Hammer, you tried. Get out of line of sight. You serious? Oh, that's it. Enjoy standing like an idiot with zero time units. I mean, you tools, man. It's, it's far better. He's standing smartly with zero time units. <laughs> Is that our turn? Seriously? Is that all you're gonna do? Pretty much. We're all just basically waiting to shoot things. And turn.
Shots fired. Lots of sonic cannon rounds being unleashed. MC capable being attacked again. As long as she doesn't go berserk, I'm okay. Still, it'd be nice if we can get a sonic cannon, uh, a gas cannon round down there. There's many aquatoids at that door frame, and an explosive there would be very satisfying. I think we're going to lose all ski though, if I'm honest, just from fatal wounds. We don't have any medicates at all, so it's just not going to happen. It's nice to get a good amount of um, weapons though. We've got decent weapons that we can use to kill the Aquanauts. Aquanauts. <laughs> well, yes, we can use them against Aquanauts, but I meant Aquatoids. Yeah, that one. That's the one. Oh, yeah. So accurate. Oh, there we go. Turn five. Miss Capable has gone berserk. <laughs> Killing herself and uh, MC Hammer. Two SCOM operatives bite the dust in the face of adversity, and those are the first two true losses. Due to molecular control attacks, of course. Still, we have a large number of seal anchors, and these are far more capable troops. Miss Capable was not capable, of, capable enough. Armed with explosive weaponry, she unleashed a powerful attack, destroying her fellow man. So let us now use this weapon against this Aquatoid. And shoot the ramp. Nicely done, Utils man. Come on. Come on. Alright, we'll get you to take a shot first, because you've got... A clear shot. Take it. Not a lot of fire. You know what this is. There'd be, there'd be other Aquanauts, Aquatoids in the way. Alright. Well, in that case, we're just going to get this particular seal anchor just to keep going. Hiding in the bubbles of the smoke. This is smoke. We are above water. Come on. It's a little bit less responsive when there's so much stuff. That is a dead Aquatoid though, which is reassuring. A crew breathe a sigh of relief, knowing an Aquatoid has been slain upon this day. Many Aquatoids actually, but this is only the beginning. Behold, the Aquatoids. Two shots, two down. We're going to open this door, however, which shall, of course, provide additional aquatoids we can destroy. Killed a large number of them there. There's another one over there of a thermal shock launcher. And that guy's dead as well. Nicely executed Orski with, oh, eight turns to live? Eight turns? In theory, we could almost do it in that amount of time. But I don't want to push our, push our luck. We'll take it as casually as we need to in order to ensure the lives of our XCOM operatives. Let's get MC Problem and Lobster Man Bait a bit further forward. You know what we need? We need to get these three operatives down here. Ignans Volans, down you come. And of course, the lanky lamina lady, and MC Disappointment. Getting these guys into the combat will be good, just to provide some additional support on this flank. Excellent. The right customer can continue exploring the subterranean level. That's actually completely the wrong direction. Excellent. 
Alright, MC Victor, come on down. But I'm pretty much convinced at this point there's nothing down up here, so we're just going to get these guys to join the squad proper. As well as these guys have been left up here as well. Let's get everyone down, shall we? Down you come, MC Headache. Down you come. If you're on the ground floor, I won't forget about you. <laughs> I suppose at least if there's anything up there. I suppose it's the true test. We've left guys up there in undefendable positions. So the fact they've all survived means there's nothing there. <laughs> you know, it was a true test. Now we've got our pop culture reference. Well, what we'll do is record a video, and when we come back, we'll continue our cleansing of the XCOM base. Oh, yeah.